Please join me in welcoming Ivan Kirilov. All right, thanks, Katie. So I don't have any spreadsheets, but I do have memes, and I do have a heat map. So drink a beer, something. Um, all right, so first quick show of hands. Who's familiar with CAR like at all? Have you guys have you heard of it? Oh, wow, all right, awesome. That's more than I thought. Um, no, that's great, that's great. That's, that's not a problem. Um, yeah, so for those of you that aren't familiar with it, um, it's not a plane, it's not a real car. What it is, is it's an acronym and a website, so <laughs> as you can imagine. Um, yeah, so what it is, it's really an attack-driven uh, analytics repository that we have on GitHub. Um, so it's actively maintained, which, which is nice because it wasn't for a while. So CAR was kind of really actively maintained from like 2013 to 2016, and then it had kind of three-year hiatus. But now it's back, and it's back in a big way. At least I, I hope so. Um, <laughs> but yeah, besides analytics, you know, I think we have some interesting things that a lot of people don't have um, you know, with, with regards to analytic repositories, right? So we have a data model that allows you to do uh, vendor agnostic mappings to you know, our data model, and then you can use those inside of your analytics. Um, we also have mappings to sensors, although there's a caveat on that, which I'll mention. Uh, mostly they're horribly outdated. <laughs> and then we have an exploration tool called Carrot. So Carrot, I think, is kind of an interesting tool for showing um, kind of the relationships between sensors, uh, data sources, and analytics. Um, it's really more of like a proof of concept. I don't think you can do much operationally with it, but it is kind of a cool way of showing that if you add a sensor, you know, you'll get a lot more coverage in terms of your analytics. So there's some nice stuff there. Um, yeah, so, but recently, you know, we've been doing a lot of stuff on just trying to kind of increase the quality, the, you know, the the good stuff we have in CAR, just trying to make it better. Um, one obvious thing is just adding new analytics. So, you know, again, we didn't have any since 2016. We've added eight new ones this year. So I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, another one is we've converted all our analytics to YAML. So, uh, you know, if you want to parse them and ingest them into your SIM, into your, you know, Splunk instance, whatever, you can do that now. So I think that's pretty cool. And then another one is we've added multiple implementations to each analytics. So this is an example of one, right? So as you can see here, we have pseudocode at the top. So that's what CAR used to have. CAR used to have only pseudocode implementations. Um, we've, since then, we've started adding things like Splunk, um, Sigma, Equal. You know, we don't really care. Like, we're kind of agnostic to all these implementations. Um, our goal is really just trying to increase the coverage of these, um, both from a user perspective. I mean, I think if you're like a new analyst, you know, just coming and having like a ready-made Splunk query you can at least start with is nice. Um, but I think there's also some other things you can gain from that. Like you can see what different languages support. Um, you know, all of these syntaxes, these languages, you know, have different capabilities. So I think it's kind of interesting just seeing it that way. Um, yeah, but wait, there's more. <gasps> we have high-tech metal alloys. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we have something even better, though. We have Bizarre, or Bizarre, I guess. I'm always kind of confused because there's no I in there. But anyway, um, so Bizarre is a set of a, a bro attack scripts that we've written. Um, help detect several network-based analytics. Um, it's pretty cool work. I think it's kind of, you know, more on the cutting edge of what you can detect with some of this stuff. Um, it uses the, the SumStats framework in Zeek to do this. And uh, from what I understand, it's pretty well. It's pretty popular. Um, we have already got a couple of pull requests against that code base. So uh, yeah, I think that's something else that's pretty neat. Um, besides that, we've been updating our data model. So you know, I mentioned we have this data model. It's agnostic. Um, we have you know a process object. We have a file object. We have all of that good stuff, um, but you know we haven't updated for like three years, so there's clearly some things that we're missing from you know analytics, uh, EDR tools. So we've been slowly kind of building that up, and then otherwise we've been trying to just increase our attack coverage, so it just make it more accurate, right? So we had um, some mappings that were just plain wrong. <laughs> um, part of that was just honestly I think just error, but uh, there was also you know in those three years that car wasn't really active, we had new attack techniques that came along. So I think we've kind of fixed that. So everything in CAR now should be a lot, um, you know, a lot cleaner, a lot better mapped to attack. So I think I'm kind of required legally to have a heat map, at least in terms of coverage. Uh, <laughs> so here it is. Uh, but you know, the main thing here is you know, we have pretty good coverage of things like discovery, right? That's kind of low-hanging fruit, I think, for a lot of us. So that's not, really not surprising. Um, where we do have. I think some gaps is pretty obvious, you know, command and control. Uh, as you can see, we kind of don't have a lot of network things. So I mentioned Bizarre. That's kind of one of the things we do have. But most of our analytics are, are right now, unfortunately, they're Windows-centric and they're host-based, which, again, is kind of not surprising because that's kind of where the state of these things are. But we are working to improve that. Um, so I have foreseen some new things we could be doing. Um, before I go into these, 
I just want to mention, you know, kind of just the, the philosophy that I think we should be taking with this stuff. So, you know, there's other analytic repositories out there. Um, they're doing different things, and I think that's great. I think our focus with attack, or sorry, with CAR, is that we want to kind of experiment. So we want to try new things. Um, we want to implement new ideas. Uh, you know, I think we can be really agile there because, you know, the state of analytic sharing, I think, is still pretty nascent. You know, there's, there's certainly good content out there, but I think people aren't really sharing it. And I think, um, you know, there's some issues that we've seen. So hopefully we can kind of prototype that in CAR. If it doesn't work, that's great, but hopefully we'll learn something from that. So um, anyway, that's my hope going forward. So, you know, obviously we want new analytics, right? So I mentioned we're kind of lacking in certain areas. Um, I don't know if Tony's in the room, but we, we would love to get his Linux stuff in here. So Linux is definitely one of our priorities. Um, besides that, you know, we want to do something like building blocks. So building blocks is sort of this concept where, you know, you kind of decompose analytics into smaller pieces that make them easier to manage. Um, so as an example, I wrote an analytic about a year ago for UAC bypass, and I actually basically rolled in several different, uh, actually seven different techniques of UAC bypass into that analytic. Um, that's pretty, I don't know, it's like, it's like kind of kludgy, like it's difficult to maintain. Like let's say one of those techniques suddenly becomes, uh, you know, no longer valuable. Like what do you do? Do you just throw that away? Like do you create a new analytic? So I think there's a lot we can do about kind of helping us think about how you create analytics and manage them. And I think the sort of notion of building blocks could be interesting um, on top of that. Uh, besides that, you know, data model I mentioned already, but I think there's a lot more we could do to update it. So uh, we could definitely do more work on, you know, network-based modeling for uh, layer seven. Um, you know, HCP and DNS are, I think, one of the few areas that aren't really explored very well. So I think we could do some work there. And then, you know, obviously I mentioned uh, EDR tools. So Sysmon is great, but there's other tools out there, and I think we want to make sure that we can, you know, roll in whatever those tools do well into our data model. Um, another idea we've had is kind of what we call baseball cards. So this is basically trying to uh, kind of give all the critical information about an analytic in a really short, succinct fashion. Because you know when you're when you're looking at analytics, it's, it can be really difficult to understand: uh, do they apply to your environment? You know, can you use it? Do you have the right data sources? Um, is it riddled with, with false positives? So all that is kind of really good information that I think we could convey much better. So I think there's something we could do there as well. Um, so I mentioned our, our sensor coverage earlier. It's, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, it's pretty outdated. So right now, we only have Sysmon 3.2. And I think it's, what, on like version 9 or something? So uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we need to fix that. Um, and I think we definitely will. Because <laughs> I think, again, that's one of the really kind of interesting pieces that CAR does well right now and no one else um, really has. I mentioned Carrot a little bit. So um, Carrot. Works okay, like I said, it's it's fine. You, you guys you guys check it out. It's a cool visualization, but I think there's definitely work we could do to make it more useful and also just uh, kind of work better in the hood. You know, maybe re rewriting some of that lovely JavaScript. <laughs> um, and then attack coverage. So this one I think is actually really important, and it kind of gets at to the, maybe the, some some of the sub techniques work that the core team is doing as well. But so in CAR we have not only the attack technique, but we have the actual kind of level of coverage for each technique, which we Right now, just we say low, medium, high, so it's pretty arbitrary. Um, I think we really need to think about that more scientifically. We need to do, I think, much better about you know discussing how we cover these techniques, um, because you know if you say you have like a like say you have a medium or high level of coverage, but your technique is actually missing you know a lot of key procedures, a lot of key implementations of that technique, then um, you know obviously it's not you're not really covering anything. I mean, it's, you're not, you're not doing what you expect to do. So I really want to refactor some of that work. And then um, ease of evasion, right? So I think that one is also pretty important. Um, a lot of analytics we have in CAR are unfortunately, I would say, brittle in the sense that if an adversary changes something simple like a file name or a hash, uh, then they can easily evade that analytic. So I think we need to capture that as well. So as you can see, a lot of these things are you know, just like additional properties. They're just helping us you know, define things about analytics, but I think as a community, we need to think about this, right? I think some of us have these ideas. They're kind of all over. I, I had great discussions during our BOF earlier, so you know, I think there's definitely some things we can take away from that. But you know, I, I really hope we can kind of use CAR as a means of just getting those ideas out there. You know, again, if maybe they don't, they don't work, they're not fully fleshed out, that's fine. But at least we'll have uh, you know, some way to actually try it out and test it out. So I know you guys have analytics. Everybody's analytics, right? 
So please share them. <laughs> you don't want to make the kitty angry, do you? Because uh, he looks pretty mean. I don't know. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, yeah, you know, thanks to everybody else who's contributed. So uh, we actually, it's pretty cool. So we had th four contributions, like I said, in the past uh, several months of new analytics to CAR. Um, and they were all from different countries. So Merrick Degarmenci, IBM, he's from Turkey, I believe. Uh, Kashal Parikh from Cyber Labs. He's from India, and then Tony Lambert, you know, Red Canary's from the US. But yeah, it was really cool just to see, you know, just random. It's like, hey, get GitHub pull request for a new analytic, and it's pretty awesome. So anyway, I would definitely encourage you guys. Um, maybe next year I'll bring like a little matchbox car and I'll paint it gold. And whoever has the most submissions over that year, they'll win the, the golden car. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> um, all right. So that's pretty much it. So these are the resources, you know, I mentioned. So we have the the main car websites, so that's where all this stuff lives. Um, the MLI's analytics, you can go to there on GitHub. And basically everything's on GitHub. So you know, if you just go to that root URL, you'll find it all. Um, and then, yeah, just to end with you know, a quote from the great thespian, Vin Diesel. Uh, maybe we can get a, a 10 second car with your contribution. So I'll leave you with that. All right, thank you. We have time for maybe one quick question about CAR. You have Ivan up here. Any questions anyone has? If not, Can I ask a question? there we go. The gentleman down front. <laughs> what inspired the CAR revival? It's oh. a good question. Uh, <laughs> Did, did you and John just have more time magically? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically what happened was we, we realized we had this car thing. It was still out there. And um, people were, you know, people do still use it, even you know, in the 2016 yeah. state. And we're like, hey, maybe we should actually start active work on this again. So it was just kind of one of those spur of the moment things. And I think it's led to much bigger and better things. But that's sometimes how it happens, yeah. I agree. I think from my perspective, like going out and briefing, like, oh, you can use, you know, attack for analytics or at the attack EU workshop last year that just happened again this year um, in, around hack LU, we heard from folks like, we'd really like to see more. So I'm um, really grateful to Ivan and John for all their work on CAR and more to come, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Give us your analytics. That's right. All right. Thank you so much, Ivan. Thanks, guys.